Hi everyone, welcome. I hope you all had a great weekend. We had some rain over the weekend and we're going to see what the weather is for the rest of this week. My name is Dave. I'm with the Miami Brahma Kumari organization and this here is Vijay. I am Vijay. I am the one with the blue shirt. I am also the oh. one with the blue shirt. Why did you buy that shirt? Okay, we probably went to the same store at a different time. But anyway, we would like to talk today about reshaping normal. A lot of you have been hearing and talking about what is normal, that the world would not be normal again after this virus. Um, but, but I don't know. We, I don't know for certain what's going to be the aftermath of it. But it seems that we have to reshape what is normal. So today we are going to talk about reshaping normal. Because we understand that normal is the routine that supports growth. So Vijay, let's uh, hear your thoughts. Um, I mean, I don't think we will go back to the normal that we knew. Um, I think a lot of us have learned that we don't have to be so driven. We don't have to be doing all the time. Uh, I have started to enjoy not doing a lot and to realize that a lot of living takes place in silence and quietness. Um, I was driving down, sorry, riding along the bank. Riding his bicycle. Along the bank. <laughs> and I saw a group of ducks with a mom and the ducklings. And normally I see them actively um, feeding, you know. And, but they were all sitting, hanging out with mom, you know, preening their feathers. And uh, they look very relaxed, and I think they made a pretty picture. I actually stopped to watch them. So I think there is value in not doing a lot and uh, living internally. That is being aware of my own awareness, my own consciousness. And you know, spending time with your own self being more than doing. Just a sense of awareness of you and what you are and what I am and seeing what are the thoughts that are flowing through my mind, checking out my own concerns, and see what unfinished business I have, see how I want to focus my life, what, what are some of the hobbies I would have liked to entertain myself with, some of the things I want to do that I always did not have time to do. So yes, I don't think it will quite be what we were, uh, but it should be good. I feel this normal will be better than the normal we had. Oh, well, um, you know, so what uh, new normal, that's what people are talking about. But we are talking about reshaping normal. It means that we may have to make some changes. We may have to redecorate, uh, like just like a gardener, a gardener, he, he moves things around in his garden. Uh, if he has a hedge, he shapes it he, in a different way sometimes. And maybe now is a time to do some reshaping. Um, uh, could we say change is reshaping? Could we say redecorating? You know, uh, you know we, see, we have seasons of the year and new things come out, you know, flowers come out after uh, a nice rain fall and many uh, you know here in Florida we the dry season just finished uh, in June and everything is green again so reshaping is you know it's it is it a change we're talking about here Vijay I mean I like prefer the word reshaping than new because reshaping allows me to have an input into what the normal is going to be. Oh, and, uh, an input. An input, yes. Okay. I have an input. And reshaping tends to 
imply that I'm not going to change everything, but I'm going to change some things, or change the way uh, that I do something. I think normal, as you said, has to do with routine, the kind of routine I build for myself. And as long as that routine is positive and creates growth, it creates contentment and creates happiness, I feel it is the normal that works for me and I should stick to that. So reshaping means I'm doing those things that work for me, that allows me to settle my personality, to complete those things that have been long-standing and unfinished, and to follow up with those relationships that I w always wanted to follow up with, um, to do some of the things you know that I have thought about, to clean my room, uh -oh. maybe. <laughs> Maybe you can reshape your own room. <laughs> That's always a nice place to start, you know, a new setting, something new. So in a way, a lot of it reflects me and what I am and what I want to be. And I think reshaping helps me experiment um, to find the things that work best. Otherwise, the normal, the, the other normal that we knew, I think has been shaped for us more by outside agents and agencies. So for example, you know, a lot of it was based on my job and so what was the requirement of the job is what I did. A lot of it was based on what I saw on television. So it's in fact, it was other people putting ideas into my head. Um, and so the normal was there, more their normal. You know, you have sport events coming, um, you have all kinds well, of... there would not be any much sporting events again like it was. Before. So it gives me an opportunity to shape my normal, to reshape my normal according to me, rather than to people, the organizers of events. Because pretty much they are minding their business and they want to involve me in their business. Now, it may be useful for me or maybe not, but the question is, is it beneficial? A lot of the things that I used to do is more from entertainment and to a large extent because other people were doing it. So I felt that if I did not other participate, mm -hmm. I would be left out. <laughs> like, you know, people to me, things to do. And um, I, I want to be involved because I'm a little scared that I get left out or the event happens and I, I never experience it. So, so, so we, want, we want to create a reshaping or we want to create a, a routine that supports growth. Yes. A reshaping to uh, a, a creating a normal which supports growth. So uh, this is one thing in our life we always have to look at. Are we moving? Are we growing? Are we changing? <laughs> Uh, because a lot of time we keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. And we are, we are lost in that uh, cycle of events, cycle of habits. Uh, so let's uh, evaluate a few things which we can do to create a new, a new routine so it can affect growth. I mean, I love to travel. I did a lot of traveling, and I guess so many people do. And during this time, I thought about that. But oh, now, and that's now, why you're stuck here in Florida. That's why I'm stuck here, because <laughs> I traveled <laughs> too much. And in the beginning, I thought, well, that's grand. It's a free holiday, you know. Um, and I've been thinking about that. And I feel that I travel because I like to have new experiences. I like to see new things. I like to explore what is happening. But during this um, quiet time, I began to explore my own mind, my own thinking. And in fact, I have been getting some new experiences within myself, a new understanding of who I am and how do I have to relate, re relate to the world. I think I have gained, grown in confidence to some degree. I have realized that my own experience is valid. My own thoughts is normal. And the new normal is me playing my part in the world as I want to, more based on my terms than based on the rules and regulations created by other people. So, uh, so you think, you know, what's happening in the 
in the USA right now with the protests and uh, riots. Uh, what uh, could we do with respect to having a feeling of compassion and care, uh, non-violence, you know, courage? Um, what should be our thinking? What should be our thoughts? Well, um, let me say that when I say following my own rules and regulations, I mean within the context of the legal, the legal requirements of the country. Um, but yes, I really am concerned. I feel a lot of deep awareness of what is happening and, you know, the pain that people are going through. But I think that I must be careful that I do not get burnt by that pain. I do not get colored by the sorrow that is happening. And I should keep a calm state of mind so that I could support other people. I think it is important to maintain my calmness, to maintain my positive attitude for the people and what is happening, to hold in my heart a sense of care and compassion, but not get excited. I think the excitement lowers the energy and it pushes it to something else. I don't want to become reactive. I want to act. I want to be compassionate. I want to care. I want to concern. In fact, that is how I feel. But I don't think it is healthy to get into the stream of excitement that goes on around things. I think people should... No excitement. <laughs> as you're saying, no excitement. Some excitement. Are we lot. reshaping with no excitement? A lot. Less excitement. <laughs> I think people should be free to say what they want to say and people should be free to express what is happening within them. And my job should more be to support. And a good way to support is my own sense of calmness and, and order and organize so that I don't add to the chaos, to, the, to that extra movement. There is a lot of movement, a lot of energy flowing. And I think I, as some of us at least, need to keep a, a, a quiet approach, a, a calm state of mind, so that it can bring a sense of calmness at least around me, so that the people I speak to will feel a sense of comfort and care, hopefully. You know, uh, in, in reshaping, uh, what we are talking about is introducing new stuff in your life, introducing new uh, ideas in your routine. One of those ideas um, which has been, a lot of people have been using, and I have been requesting for people, my friends and family, uh, workers, to use is that to stop for a minute and just be do nothing. I mean, you wouldn't lose your wage by one minute, you know, but don't stop in the middle of the road, but stop for a minute and observe where your thoughts are. And at the same time, reposition your thoughts to, to a state of peace and tranquility and compassion. It's a practice that you can do several times in the day to just stop for, you know, 60 seconds and observe and then move. Or we can say repositioning your thought or your state of mind or your thinking in, in a place where there's compassion, caring, and peace. Uh, so that's one of the one of the reshaping I'd like uh, to see happening, uh, so that you know it it brings growth. You know, they make sure the new normal brings growth, and the only positive things could could come out of my, my you know my energy of, you know, peace, compassion, and caring. Um, so, you know, stopping and, and, you know, using that as a practice. If we do that for, you know, seven days, let's see. Let's do an experiment and see what happens. So that's one reshaping. 
so Vijay, you might want to share another reshaping uh, idea? Well, I think we really should be reshaping our mind, reshaping our thoughts, reshaping how we think about things, how we respond, how we react. That is a, a work in itself, uh, being conscious of what I am doing, how I am doing it, and deciding whether I want to bring some change. As you said earlier, we want change, but to some degree we, prefer, we want other people to change. But the change should start with me. And it is beneficial, it is nice to start your own change. And you do um, discover some good things about yourself. And you find that once you start the change within the self or the reshaping within yourself, you have control over it. You can experiment with things. And generally it leads to a better stage of life, a better approach to life. And uh, I think not only do I benefit myself, but the people around you also benefit from your new thinking. So let us uh, try reshaping for the new normal. And remember to always like our Facebook, share it with your friends. And at this time, we would like Vijay to do some, spread some positive energy, a practice which would start in reshaping a practice that you can do at home, a practice that anybody can do, a uh, practice just for a few minutes, uh, a practice you would share with you where it's easy to do, it's not difficult, and anybody can do it. So Vijay, you would like to uh, I'll play uh, some music and we can get into the zone and you can experience some in a tranquility. Yes. And if I can do it, anybody could do it. So yes, and uh, one of the new normal we could add is to either increase or add some type of meditative routine, or you may already have one, so to increase it. Increase either the frequency of it or the length of time. So it is always nice to relax. We take a deep breath or two and let the body relax and let the thoughts go within feel that the energy of the body retreats to the center of the forehead let the shoulders relax and I ask myself who am I I think of myself as a soul, Atma, a tiny point of light, a spark of energy, sitting here in the center of the forehead, I, the soul, am divine in nature. Peace and silence. That's my original quality. I let the mind flow. And I picture a sense of silence and peace emerging from within me. I feel that I have reduced myself to a tiny point of light. I am in peace. And my mind is relaxed. And 
silence. I become the embodiment of silence. And I feel a quietness, a stillness. I let the mind absorb a sense of stillness. And I hold this awareness. I am a soul at peace for a few moments detached from all things I hold only my own awareness and I let my mind be absorbed in this thought And as the feelings of peace and silence emerge. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Vijay, for that tranquil inner strengthening as we change routines, as we adopt new routine to make it normal so that we can get growth in our journey as we find joy in our journey please share if you like uh, like us on facebook and share and we'll see you again thank you very much hold the silence